वट टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस यू आर इन एम एल एम पीपल्स बिजनेस सर्विसिंग हेल्थ सम पीपल से हेल्थ एंड वट एल्स हैप्पीनेस इज देयर ऑफकोर्स paid forward we are in the information business this is slightly different than most of the people what they are saying it why information is we are basically trying to make people aware of what they are not knowing or they are not giving importance awareness business on wellness or whatever you said all the answers were right but how you transfer that awareness education to the other person that if you master that i'm talking about on a higher level on a professional level you are educating people in what way physically through internet through books through dvd i just showed you that this is all awareness this is all information you remember obama was in india and uh, what did he say this is the world of which is going to really change is knowledge awareness he did come to the seat as a president as a black man with that one word called change <coughs> and imagine now he is talking about this same thing but in a different form all right so we are in the awareness business that is for sure so what are we doing in dxn now i'm coming back uh, personal growth and dxn i'm getting them married and where we are making the mistake we are uh, making members forcefully nothing works when you use force uh selling the products again forcefully without finding out whether the, the person need it or not sell the product our job is to basically uh make the other person aware and take the product and if that person takes the product forever you got a loyal customer or a loyal lifetime customer if it's taking just 10 pv coffee box so you can imagine that is forever so that is why we we call it residual income in our business so we have to try to find out the people who are needy people who are open minded people if we can really find out those people then your life is really simple from there onward so what are the needs and wants of the people number 1 is they are living paycheck to paycheck i'm talking about the youngsters like kevin like william like they are you know graduated from the university and they are you know going into the field and then they grow old uh, 10 years and become uh, you know 35 45 55 then most of the people they are living and doing the job and paycheck to paycheck every month that is the number one need number two need is like i mentioned yesterday the nepali people who have got the entire family there I don't know uh, people work in Kuala Lumpur and their family may be in Ipo or they might be in Alastair. There might be some people like that also. I'm sure. Okay. So that is because you are in a job, or you are in a business also. In business, I have seen a lot of people who are multi-millionaire, but their family life is really screwed up. So what is the use of all that money? 
Third thing is long hours, no time. Time problem. Whether it is job, whether it is business. Then comes good salary, but high pressure. Stress is there. And you look around. And I put this thing as last because this has been talking, spoken about so much and we have got experts like uh, Ms. Jane over here who talks about this issue and uh, health and all her life she has spent, the other lady from Australia, I met um, the, uh, the nurse. So they are putting all their effort into that health issues, all right. And that is definitely, from all point of view, that is number one. But these are the things that we have to also try to find out from that person. To the problem, who are you? You are a solution provider. You are giving solution. You are giving answer to their problems. If you learn this skill, you are successful. It might take one year, it might take three years, it might take five years. This is all in the growth period. And there are geniuses who have written books after books. How to get connected to the people. Our business is basically connection. Alright, secret to the business is learn the right language to attract people. You remember last time I was uh, here in Ipo, I did a, a national presentation. A gentleman, I just took it out from the crowd and I told him to please sit down. Um, and then uh, it was for about uh, an hour or less. He didn't know anything about DXN. So you find out the need and give the solution and finally that person signed. Right, Mr. Lee, uh, at that very convention. Uh, in Ipo, he signed. So, you have to know the right language, whether it is Malay, whether it is whatever language, Chinese or English or whatever language that you are speaking. Uh, most people focus on the basic uh, of DXN, which is of course, you have to know about the products, about the marketing plan. But, in order to grow into the business, you have to learn further. And that's what my topic is all about. You saw the movie. And the further is, we as a star ruby or a star diamond, even uh, I've seen double diamond, they come to a point where they come in a crossroad. They don't know what to do from there onward. Their uh, status stagnate, their bonus stagnate or starts going down. Because the upline or the sponsor or the leader thinks that he is okay. He is not okay. How many people find themselves like this in a crossroad? Where to go now from here? There are a lot of people like that. So your job as a leader is to be very, very laser focused. You know the laser that we have got? not uh, having any diffusion or any multitask type of thing doing three four things at one time not possible not possible at all so answer to the puzzle or is the continuous learning continuous learning on the industry which i, which I mentioned yesterday and about you everybody has got weakness and strength strength you use it. Weakness, you try to convert it into, into strength. Now in every team, there are some very good communicator, there are some very good administrator, there are some very good who are very good in organization things. So you as a leader, you have to see the capability and the potential of those people and use it and make them in the growth of their business or the entire business. This is again I'm talking about higher level. 
Nobody is perfect. We are not angels. Are we angels? No, we are not angels. So we make mistakes. But from that mistake, we should try to see the what is the right way to go about it. And the leaders are there to watch about the whole thing. Alright, please ask yourself how much you are spending in your personal development. Now this is a very important question. If you are not growing, you are not putting money in your own growth. Buying a product worth 300 PV or uh, 500 PV or 100 PV, that is not, uh, uh, you know, spending, investing. That you are eating, you don't do it from DXN, you'll do it from other grocery store. Right or wrong? So personal growth, whether it is book, it is DVD, it is CD, it is a conference. And why did I put this man's uh, website is because he is coming regularly to Malaysia. And next time I'll just get connected to Ashish. And uh, he, I have met him, can you imagine, from more than five years. And every time that he comes to Vancouver, uh, he doesn't come to Dubai, unfortunately. He, he comes to this part of the world, Singapore, Malaysia, and all these places, Philippines and all, and he gives this talk on MLM. So you have to, and they are, they are very costly one, let me tell you. But this man is not so expensive. I attended one seminar like this for one day, $1,000. Imagine what you have paid. You have just paid for the room and the food. Not for the training. Training is free. That is in DXN. Now you want to go up. You have to spend on yourself. On the business and the personal growth. Alright. We move to the next one is What is personal growth? Making yourself better every day. Now this is, you have to evaluate yourself, end of the day, where were you yesterday, where were you today. The other thing which I say in the action business is, when you get your uh, statement, that is the pulse of your business. You sit down for maybe few hours to find out who are the new people who have joined you. Everything is there, crystal clear. Don't go right to the last page and see how much money you are getting. <laughs> that is a typical thing. What is my bonus? Okay, after that you come back to the first page from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Personal grow, uh, your uh, uh, group and uh, development bonus, then you, you move to the leadership bonus and you count how many uh, diamonds you have. Yesterday, you, last month you had maybe 140, this month you have got 165. Who are those 15? Try to get connected to them. Maybe they are 10th level, 40th generation. So it is, uh, sometime I say, it is not all that easy business, let me tell you that. Some people think that it is a very easy business. Let me ask Mr. Lee, is it a very easy business? Simple, but not easy. It is simple, but you have to put in a lot of time and effort in order to make, whatever he has become, he has become, but he has to make a lot of other people successful in the business then he becomes more successful. Alright, investing time, effort and money to grow from where you are today, where you would like to be tomorrow. That's what it is, the vision, what we are talking about. We write resolution, 1st January every year. 30th January, the guy starts smoking again. Right or wrong? So what, what is the use? Who is fooling whom? Forget about resolution and all that. You do small things step by step. 
All right. Do you believe that everybody is born with potential? Yes. Yes. Do you believe we have potentials? Yes. So we have to take it out. We have to take it out. And then those potentials that we have, we have to make it in the best use. Now you heard that no, how many knows a person here from childbirth till the person is 18 years old? How many times? No, 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 no. Can I get the answer? You have made one zero more. It is 5,000. It is 5,000 times I am talking about in USA. In Asia, our children who grow, I know, don't do this thing. Don't do this thing. Don't go into the dark room. Don't, you know, do. There is always no, 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 no. So, 50,000 is in Asia for sure. <laughs> 5,000 is in the USA. <laughs> they have calculated it. And the no which people go through, they start believing in no. You know, you, you listen to something. You watch that uh, idiot box called television. <laughs> you keep on watching, keep on watching. Then you become uh, part of that thing, what you are watching, what you are hearing, what you are seeing. That's why, mm, I don't know how many times you caught that, be in the environment of positive people. And Alhamdulillah, in the excel we have most of the people are positive. They want to help each other. Whether you are cross line, down line, up line, diagonal line, no line. <laughs> no line is they don't want to become uh, uh, a part of anything. But still you educate them. No problem. Talk about wellness. How the person can get help. Alright, the no, no, no data is from 18 to uh, 18 years uh, from birth, 5,000 times. When, 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 when we hear all that no, we become no. Why negativity is so much? Why negativity is so much? Is what we are hearing all the time. People, radio, television, newspaper. You open up any newspaper, especially the first four or five pages. I would like to see the positive things in that. And that is the reason why I straight away jump to the entertainment side or the, or the sports page. They, they, they are positive. They are talking about something about what is happening in whatever sports that you like. We have to conquer our fear. Fear is there. I'll tell you a very interesting example. When a child is small and a child is told, don't go into the dark room, there is a jail or there is a Saturn over there. That small child who's three years or two years now gets it in the mind because the mom is telling her, him or her all the time. Now the child becomes big, but that thing is still in the back of the mind. He is fearful of darkness. Has it, uh, has it ever happened with you? Yes. Huh? yes. When, we, when you are growing, something has happened and you cannot take it out of your mind. Fear does not just evolve like that. Discipline is required, but you talk it out, talk it out. And that is the reason why I say communication is extremely important. How you talk, what you talk, how much you talk, how fast you talk. What is fear? False evidence uh, appearing. This actually the thing is not there, but in your mind, 
you have been brainwashed and programmed to think that thing is real and at our age it becomes very difficult you saw the couple a young couple DXN you can do any time from 18 to the time that a person is about to go to the grave. So the younger that you get in after your study, you got more time to help people and more time for whatever you are looking for. All right. Keep that fear which we have got as a bondage out of your life. What is the opposite of fear? What did she say? Hello. What did she say? She said something is opposite of fear. Come again. Take control of fear. Take control of the fear. Yeah, she said that. But there was a, a stronger word. The stronger word was, that's why we are here today. We want to become successful. Success and fulfillment and I'm going to talk more on fulfillment now so now what we are talking on the vision is a concise plan what you want to achieve everybody has got a why and you want to achieve it but don't keep it open you give a deadline by December 2012 I am going to become, say, Crown Diamond. Or by December 2015, I am going to become so and so. Or I am going to help so many people. Or I am going to achieve this much. So that is part of the vision. And visualization is a process. What you are going to do on a daily basis. It's not something after one year or two years. That's called visualization. You see it where you want to be and that's on a daily basis that's called programming programming your mind and programming your subconscious mind not what is right in front all right so write your vision see and read the vision statement so this uh, how many how many has got a vision statement written down please raise your hand so we have got uh, Faisal, is it Faisal, right? Uh, number one and that's all. So I would request you, my friends, my brothers and sisters, uh, that please tonight you go and write why you want to do DXN. Whatever is your uh, vision from DXN, write it down don't write a big paragraph in a story or a, or a novel don't do that write a few lines and that card should be there near your bedside uh, in your office in your car and maybe in your bathroom also you know you've got a bathroom mirror when you're sitting on the throne uh, you don't have anything else to do <laughs> so read that at that time so that is what is needed uh, from uh, the vision side. Why you are doing it is, is you are basically programming yourself and programming yourself. And then you become what you are thinking and what you are saying, that is what you become. Yesterday, you remember, I talked about becoming more. All right, take action on your vision. A vision is nothing if you do not take action and you do not apply it in real life vision uh, uh, without discipline is disillusion uh, vision without discipline is disillusion you know why the western countries they are ahead of us is because they have got discipline right to the core if there is a corruption is on a very high level and in a very less percentage because living in the West 
Jane, you have witnessed it. I don't know how many of all those who have come from Australia, they are witnessing, witnessing it. The discipline is there and there is a caring and a sharing. If a guy is standing in the pedestrian crossing, the, the car is going to come and stop irrespective even if his uh, uh, back is towards the zebra crossing. Maybe he's going to turn around and he's going to... Nobody does that for sure. <laughs> he, when he's going to cross it, then he comes to the zebra crossing. And I've seen in some of the third world country, zebra crossing means you're going to die in that zebra crossing. <laughs> because the car is going to come more speedy so that you run across the zebra crossing. Have you seen it like yeah. that? Yes. Have you seen it? I'm not saying Malaysia, I'm saying uh, other countries. Malaysia, I, I think Malaysia, you have it also. Yeah. Zebra crossing means run for your life. <laughs> So, so these are all the small nitty-gritty discipline that you have to enforce in yourself. For example, lift. There's a lift full of people and what is the courtesy? Let those guys come out and then you go in. And the guy is pushing himself inside <laughs> and not letting the other guys come out. So what's going to happen? Anyway, mentorship who is your mentor or coach? It is a compulsory thing to have a mentor. Yesterday I told you, it can be a person, it can be a DVD, it can be a book, it can be a, a movie, it can be anything which is growing yourself from inside out. From inside out, remember that. Not from outside in. You have to grow from inside. Okay, all great leaders, whether they are politicians, whether they are uh, sports people, whether whatever they are, they have mentors. And whose picture is this? He's, he's having nowadays a little problem. But this guy, imagine when he came to Canada uh, for some championship, Every day in the morning, he was, because uh, there's a friend of mine who was living in that golf uh, ground and we have houses all around the golf ground. That's how, he's in Malaysia also? No? So in Canada, we have, uh, the, you know, one of the best houses are near, uh, not near, in the peripheral of the golf ground. And that guy was telling me that this man was early in the morning doing the putting for four to five hours and behind him there were four people who were guiding him who were his mentors can you imagine one of the best golfer in the world having uh, mentors you think that he is just a champion by himself so there are people who are watching the way he is moving his club, the way he is standing, the wind, the self, there are so many things. How many, how many people play golf? Golf. Nobody? You, you play golf? No, no. What is golf? You know what is golf, I think. Yeah, there is a small ball, a white ball and you have to hit it and then you have to go after that. Uh, that is uh, the game <laughs> for the rich people, I think. Yeah. But you are rich people. No. You are in DXN. So many other things to do. How <laughs> <laughs> climbing better? <laughs> Mountain climbing better, of course. But do everything. That, uh, you know, you have to break the cycle. There's a beautiful movie I've got. I didn't bring it. Break the cycle. And then you get rejuvenated. You know Bill Gates used to do what thing? Once or twice in a year? He used to switch himself off. Go to the mountain. He, lives, he used to live in a... He still lives in Seattle. And then uh, only uh, one or two persons knew that where he was going. And cut himself off from all programming, all everything, 
no mobile, no laptop, and then maybe just meditate, think what is gonna do, or just chill out. That that is what is missing in our life. We have to. We don't have time. We have time. Family picnic, go out and enjoy yourself. All right. So mentorship is very very important. All right. Success is achievement and fulfillment. Now these are the two words. Very important. Uh, what do you mean by achievement and what do you mean by fulfillment? Achievement is what you get, what you want, what you get. And fulfillment is more beautiful than achievement. Is sometimes people don't have but still they give. Have you seen such great people? Yes. So fulfillment in DXN, there's a lot of fulfillment that you can. Even if you're not earning 10,000 ringgit or 40,000 ringgit, but you can give a person a better life, a healthier life by talking about RGGL or spirulina. But find out whether that person need it or not. He's going to or she's going to talk. So fulfillment is what you give and achievement is what you yourself get. What I said yesterday from your job or from your business. Yesterday I said that uh, again that great man Zig Ziglar said you serve or you help many people what they want and you will get what you want but the formula has to be this way you have to serve people not serve yourself you serve many people what they want and automatically you will get what you want and the most important thing is is the blessing that you are getting yes. from so many many people that's called fulfillment so I, I hope uh, my definition of fulfillment is clear to everybody yes. you have to give 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 not just take what dr. Lim is giving or you know a lot of people you'll find they keep on creeping and complaining and all kinds of negativity is there you know, not DXN is not doing this thing and that thing. What DXN has given you, you're not talking about that. So, be in that environment of positivity. Bring out the hero inside you. Empowerment. I was in Nepal and I was talking to this man. Uh, he was a, a Buddhist. And I wanted to know more about Buddhism and uh, I was living in the hotel this was a, like a family hotel not like a five star or anything and we were chilling out and we were having coffee of course three in one coffee <laughs> <laughs> and I asked him tell me more about this uh, Buddhism and you know what is this is, is he, he said this not a religion is a way of life I don't know um, I'm right or wrong but what he said I still remember and the word that he used was empowerment you empower others you make other again what he wants to be so this is a very very powerful word empowerment uh, inspiration then you have to know what inspired that person. If William wants to get a Lamborghini, which the young general of Ferrari, if not Lamborghini, then you know he's gonna work for that. Are you looking for Ferrari? 
<laughs> yeah, all right, you'll get Ferrari then. <laughs> so the inspiration makes the man go. And it can be any age. Never ever think that only young people can be inspired and they have a dream and I am 60 years old or 50 years old or 70 years old. Why not? Even at the age of 80 years, you fulfill your dream, but you could not. 79 years that you have been working or whatever you have been doing. Through the extent, you can fulfill your dream. 100%. Yes. And you are so lucky, Malaysian people, because the products are cheap compared to any other country. Can you imagine the box of coffee in Canada uh, costs something like uh, over 15, 17 dollars? So if you convert your ringgit into dollar, how much is it over here? Three in one? Twenty ringgit. Twenty ringgit is uh, uh, three point six seven four. It's about uh, five, six, maximum seven dollars. So you can imagine the cost of the coffee is double. So you should be the word that I always use. Attitude of gratitude. You please write this word. Attitude of being thankful. We are not thankful people. God has given us so many, many things. Just your body. I have one of my uh, module called Your Health. Is it by chance? or by choice and the first slide that I show is a book that your body is worth more than billion dollar do you know that yes. or maybe you cannot come by money the pain the person goes through so coming back, enlightening the life of others is what we are doing. Now a lot of people ask me these questions, so that's why I've got it. Uh, where do you learn about uh, DXN? If you are a senior member and you're looking at DXN website, then from last of course, five, six years, the Phase of the DXN website is completely changed and it is getting better and better and better. But provided you open the website, then only you will know it has become better and use it. And that's called third party credibility. You have any idea what you mean by third party credibility? So, what, do you understand what you mean by third party credibility? Yes. Uh, just few people are saying, who do not understand what is third party credibility? Be brave enough, don't be fearful. I have told you, fear, fear is all false evidence. Raise your hand please. Alright, thank you to be brave enough to raise your hand. And I'm sure there are a lot of people, uh, I didn't know uh, what is third party credibility. I knew what is the, Credibility, but what is third party credibility? I didn't know. So, this book, for example, when you are giving it to somebody to read and he's a reader, so this is third party credibility. Because what you cannot say and do, Paul Zane Pilzer is doing it for you. Can you see that? This DVD which you just saw, I couldn't do even 10% of what this husband and wife did through their small clipping. So this is one uh, area where I would like you to definitely um, go, if not every day, once in a week. 
not only when you get your bonus and you go to CSS. Uh, no, not that time. <laughs> that time is you will anyway go. <laughs> but I'm talking about the other 29 days. I want not to just give whatever I want to give and go. I, my message is that everybody understands what I'm talking. What I went through. I'm still very young in DX and I'm only going to be eight years in April of this year. Another one month to go. Uh, but a very important thing is that you have to transform yourself. Your mother tongue, you know, my mother tongue was not English, by the way. My mother tongue was Urdu or Hindi. But I learned the language in school or, you know, living in the West, of course, you, you cannot speak that language outside. You have to speak in English. So my request, humble request to you, all of you, leaders, I'm not talking everybody in Malaysia, but at least you all, 114 people, that's what you have mentioned. Please learn English. Please. Because Mr. Paul Zane Pilzer is not going to, until unless somebody else translate in Malay language, but then all the books which we have got in the industry, in the personal growth, which is available, there are thousands and thousands of books, they are mostly in English. I'm not trying to promote English, but I want you to get the cracks and get yourself grow through those books. So you've got some limited uh, books in uh, Malay language, in uh, personal growth or in, uh, it can't be 100%. Uh, where to learn about the products? Again, we have got uh, in DXN, uh, uh, I tell my people, uh, uh, DXN is from Malaysia, but when you go there, you have got all those countries, but I always guide the people to go to Malaysia and then go to the product gallery and then from product gallery go to the say water system and from the water system go to the FAQ. Those who are internet friendly, they are understanding me. Those who are not, it is going bouncer. You know, the ball goes bouncing, you have to duck. <laughs> so you have to learn the second thing First is in English. Second thing is internet. You have to learn. Uh, you know how to operate 250 channel in your uh, idiot box? <laughs> Everybody knows that. And now we have got uh, Blu-ray and uh, we have got high definition television and all that. We know all that uh, thing. Why not internet? You want your business to grow? I'll give you a figure. You know how many people go to Facebook every day? Any idea? I'm giving you the exact figure from a person, Professor Jeffrey Sampler, who was uh, in Dubai. He came from Oxford University to teach us. And he's a master in this particular area of technology. Any while, yes. How many people go to Facebook every day? Half a billion. Half a billion people go. What is the population of Malaysia? 27 million. So 27 million is good or half a billion people is good? <laughs> So, our business is in 45 countries, one world, one market. You can have your business growing in your own village or town or city, but make sure that it is spread out to at least 10 countries. 
and diamonds who are getting the international bonus you can see maybe you got somebody in mongolia or in peru or in canada or usa somebody from your town line has got that guy made so get connected to that person and grow in that country rather than just in malaysia if you want to really be a highly successful person one is that and the other one is of course uh, our madam jane and i am promoting that to all my people because i go to her website almost every day and uh, but i have to quickly go through uh, the english part then not the malay and the chinese uh, there are a lot of and uh, uh, i think it's william who is helping her uh, it's a great website and i don't know whether you know this website or not this is the block spot and uh, uh, she, what i like about her website is uh, that uh, she writes the testimonials and the, the benefit of the of the products so this is uh, regarding the business uh, about the uh, product about the business i have uh, because not so many people are in dx and writing blog you know what's a blog it's a small article i read this book i write a small article i go to malaysia i will write back show so there are pictures there are videos there are articles so it's my name fatmin gani dot blogspot dot com and the title that i have given is smart business dx and business so this is for the dx and world and in that uh the best way is uh, on the right side if you see there is a dxn logo under the logo there is a subscription i don't know google does all that so whenever i am adding any uh video i i am now carrying a very high tech video uh, where i will be talking to few people over here also and i'm going to put it in my you know everybody has got a success thing to share and it is there so you enjoy the youtube you know what is a youtube yeah. it's not like a tube like a in a pipeline okay <laughs> and do you know how many people go to youtube every day just to watch drama or some movie or just to find some friends do you have any idea how many people go to youtube you will be astonished when i heard about the facebook half a billion was a lot big number but youtube 2 billion people 2 billion uh, you cannot write in your diary also really <laughs> the zero will overflow <laughs> so so you have to become professional and professionalism pays and this is the university that i am still part of it networkingtimes.com all the third party credibility all these dvds and cds and the books i purchased it from this particular place in usa